Welcome to Chaos Control with Kate Bonney. I'm your host, Kate Bonney, and this is my channel. I really did not intend to introduce myself this way, but my intended video had a bad echo while I looked absolutely wretched. I wasn't about to post that mess. So I decided to take a ride near where I live in rural Alabama and let my dash cam just roll. I also decided to play around with some video editing software to see what I can do with it. In case you're wondering, I am a 51-year-old Gen X white woman living in rural Alabama. By some definitions, that makes me a Karen. I like to think I'm not a Karen, so please call me out if I start acting like a Karen. I also have a Bachelor's of Science in History that taught me research skills, critical thinking, and how to compose my thoughts without plagiarizing. And that's about all that piece of paper was worth. Anyway, I just wandered way off what I intended to say. That's part of the chaos of my life and my need to try and control it, hence the channel name. I define chaos as the unexpected and seemingly random things that disrupt my sense of normalcy in, in, in my daily life. Oh, by the way, I'm a total mushmouth. I will trip over my words and try to correct myself, so please excuse the stutters in between. When I worked at Long John Silver's in my 20s, I had a naked man come through the drive-thru. I'll tell you that full story one day, but that fits my definition of random. It's not truly fitting the concept of chaos. I was able to cope with that situation without completely losing my mind. Now, true chaos is when the world stops making any sense at all. And I'm left with a feeling of dismay or I'm overwhelmed. I am unable to act or feel complete confusion in a moment. The best example of this that I could think of off the top of my head would be the day that a feral cat got in my house and my 65 pound Labrador retriever, well, she's a black lab mix. She chased it up onto the counter and then up on top of the refrigerator Everything in the counter, everything on top of the fridge ended up on the floor. Most of the stuff was broken, and I had a snarling 65-pound beast to rein in. And then I had to catch the feral cat and get it back outside. So that was about three minutes of total chaos before I was able to regain control of the situation. Before I go any farther... I need to shout out my friend Nisi over at Nisi Style. Link in the description. Her channel focuses on shopping at national and regional retailers and saving money where you can. I don't think I would have been brave enough to try a YouTube channel without her encouragement. So please go check her out. Anyway, back to the point of this video. I wanted to introduce myself and let everyone know what to expect from this channel. I think I'll start with the channel. Chaos control means that you never know what I'm going to talk about. There will be no splitting into different channels that cover different topics. I will create playlists for general categories. I will try to keep my language PG-14, but my content is really intended for young adults trying to figure out their place in this world. I might also go shopping and try to show money-saving tips. I might upload cooking videos. I might show you how to change a tire. Has anyone seen the South Park special joining the Pandaverse where Randy Marsh can't find anyone to fix the door on his oven? Well, that's part of the problem. No one knows how to do anything anymore. A lot of people are not being taught how to fix things themselves. So maybe I can help with that. I am 51 years old. My house is only six years younger than I am, and it is falling apart. My entire adult life, 
I have never made enough to truly get ahead. I was able to buy a house almost 26 years ago, but have never been able to afford to have it fixed. I have to fix it myself. I might show you some of my struggles in doing this. I fully intend to show my dogs. Bree, the 10-year-old Chewini. Through the 8-year-old Black Lab mix. Yeah, the 65-pound one that tried to climb the refrigerator. That one. Then I have Rojo, the 4-year-old Pitbull. And Tamir, the roughly 16-18 to 18 month old rescue husky. For those who have never had a husky, they are the embodiment of chaos. Do not, do not get a husky if you are a first-time dog owner. You will bite off more than you can chew. Oh my God, that child is a nightmare, but I love her. Maybe I'll tell you some campfire stories. Old ghost stories meant to scare the kids when you're little at Girl Scout camp or Boy Scout camp or just hanging out in the backyard with some friends around a little campfire. Those kind of things. I will probably end up finding things on the internet to comment on. So my channel is going to be a chaotic mix of topics. Roughly organized into playlists. And there we go. I think I covered pretty much both introducing myself and the channel. I think there's only one major thing that I missed. So this is me. I will not show my face when we talk. I will most likely wear a mask. I want to protect my family from whatever drama might come this way. I'm not going to call out people by name unless they already put it out there. I might tell embarrassing stories about my kinfolk. I don't want to cause them drama. There are also overzealous people out there doxing others. A uh, sniper wolf comes to mind. So the less specific I am about who I am and where I am, the better. Secondly, the mask reminds everyone that Kate Bonnie is a persona. Like most people, I'm a little different on camera than I am if you know me in meat space. I ain't being fake. I'm just not being the same. For instance, I rough gave myself a rough outline of what I wanted to say in this video. I wrote it out and I followed the outline mostly while picking the words I wanted to use. In real life, I don't outline what I'm talking about. I just go off rambling in any direction and every direction. In order to maintain structure, I outlined what I wanted to say in this video. I'm still me. I'm still expressing my genuine thoughts and feelings. I'm just taking a little more time to choose my words specifically. It's also li more likely to keep my language PG-14, because believe me, if you're walking around my house, there will be some inappropriate four-letter words dropped. And if you want to know why I named my persona Kate Bonnie, well, I took Kate from the name of Doc Holliday's long-term companion, and Bonnie from the name of one of the few female pirates from the age of pirates. Let me le know what you learn when you Google them in the comments down below. Tell me why you think I chose the name Kate Bonnie for my online persona. If you liked my brief introduction, please like the video. If you would like to see more Chaos Control with Kate Bonnie, please ring the subscribe bell. My plans are to upload something at least once a week, but a lot of that will depend on how much time it takes me to learn the editing software and figure out an area to rec record with better acoustics. So thanks all my lovely meat sacks. I'll see you in cyberspace. Bye.